The Watauga County Arts Council segment with Cherry Johnson is sponsored by the Art Mart and Academy. Art Mart of Boone is offering creative ways for you to give the gift of art by taking the guesswork out of giving and offering a gift registry where every artist can create their own wish list to share with family and friends and receive an additional 10% off. How about a gift with a personal touch? At Art Mart, you'll find everything you need to create that something special for that someone special and a surprise gift for every artist in your life. An Art Mart gift certificate for their choice from the widest range of art supplies in the area. Serving art and artists for over 35 years with knowledgeable and personal service. Art Mart and Academy on Boone Heights Drive. I'm Cherry Johnson with Talking County Arts Council and we're outside of the Jones House today because we want to share with you one of the greatest exhibits I've seen in a while of kids art. Uh, this is Kelly Snyder. Uh, Kelly is the visual arts teacher at uh, the Two Rivers Community School in here in Boone. And Kelly, thank you for sharing this show with us. You worked really hard. I saw you hanging this show and it took a lot of work to hang this show. But I'm very impressed with this show because I've seen a lot of kids art. And this one in particular is um, one of the livelier, more energetic kids shows that I've seen in a while. Uh, talk to me about your school and your art program there. Okay. Well, first of all, I have to say that our students did a really great job of putting out some excellent quality work. They were actually a part of choosing which pieces went into the exhibit. So um, they had a say in what they thought was their best work, and I think they did a good job choosing. Our curriculum at Two Rivers is um, it embraces the arts in a lot of ways and I work with teachers to plan um, art projects that coordinate with what students are learning about in social studies and other subjects in an interdisciplinary kind of way and that's part of what makes it so lively we're trying to make it really integrated and so that sort of opens up um, opportunities for new ideas and new materials we work with a really wide range of materials and uh, for me that's fun too and the kids are always up for for new things so Thank you, Kelly. And we have some of the artists with us today, and I'm going to let them tell you their names first and their grade, and then we'll come back and talk about their artwork. Do you want to tell us about your, your name and grade? Hi, I'm Savannah Randall, and I'm in fifth grade. Okay. I'm Calvin Keener, and I'm in fourth grade. Um, I'm Amelia Darnell, and I'm in second grade. Okay, now Savannah, you're holding a black and white piece that I really like. Uh, you want to tell me about how you did your piece? Um, this is scratchboard, and what we did is it just starts out plain black, and then we use these sharp tools, that, and we have to scratch away really hard to make um, whatever we wanted to create. I created a rose, and um, I just kind of put little lines around it to um, have more white, and so white and black will be mixed, and it'll look good. That's cool, and this was your own idea of the subject matter. You weren't told what to make. No, yes, I came up with it. That's cool. I really like your design. Did you use something to go by the design, or did you do this out of your memory? Well, I kind of looked up on the computer a little bit because I'm not the best artist, and I need something to look at first, and it turned out pretty good. It really did. Thank you. And now would you tell us about this gorgeous basket you've got with you? Um, well, in my class we are learning about the history of North Carolina, mm -hmm. and so um, we made this basket, and the baskets are made out of honeysuckle, well, olden baskets, I guess, um, and, it's sort, and you just weave in and out things in and out, the honeysuckle, and I forget how I made this handle, but, <laughs> so. Now, is this uh, something that you learned that people used to do baskets this way or still do in parts of North Carolina? Yes. Okay, and so this helped you learn about North Carolina? Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. And now, Amelia, you want to tell us about this wonderful, colorful piece you've got? Well, it's um, African art, and I really like cats, so I decided to make, like, a kind of a lion. And me and Megan did, like, the opposite of each other, except we kind of did the same here. But she had long red pieces and short orange pieces. So you alternated. Now I understand you've been studying a lot, well all of you probably, but your class in particular has been studying a lot of different countries. Can you tell us about some of that? Um, we did Mexico, we did clay suns, 
and China, we did Chinese dragons, and I can't remember any other ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very, very proud of the work you guys have done. And this is just a sampling. They, there's a big variety of work up there, uh, Kelly. How many classes and how many students are represented up there? Um, we have, we're a kindergarten through eighth grade school, and so um, that's nine classes. And we um, have, I think, 148 students presently. And so all the students are represented. Um, they all had the opportunity to show a quality piece of their work, and they all succeeded in that, which is great. And uh, we encourage you to go see the show. There's a power outage today, which is why we're outside. But we encourage you to go check it out before the show is closing at the end of the month, so this week sometime. That's correct. The work is on display in the open door gallery of the Jones House Community Center all through the month of March. Our gallery hours are noon to five, Tuesday through Friday, and then by appointment, if you need another time to come by, just give us a call. Uh, we want to thank Cheap Joe's Art Stuff because they help us to keep our galleries going, and that's very important. And our dear friends at the Art Mart Academy for making the spots on MTN possible for you to learn about all the cool things that are happening all through our community. Please stay in touch with the Arts Council at www.watauga-arts.org.